Hello, Mayor Tim Mahoney. And I'm Chief David Zabolski. We're here today to talk to you about the Mayor's emergency orders that are in place at the present time. These orders that are in our community to help our elderly population and our people with chronic medical issues. We are seeing a rising number of COVID cases in the community, as well as increased use of hospital beds. In concern of this and the non-deaths we're seeing, we want to have uh, new orders in place to help us to combat the COVID virus. There are new mask mandates that are in place that will help people in the guidance of what we should do going forward. Even if you disagree with the order, I'd ask you to be respectful of each other and try to honor it best you can. Fargo Police Department stands ready to support this executive order and keep our community safe during this pandemic situation. To that end, I feel it's important for the public to recognize that we're trying to use our law enforcement resources in the most appropriate and prudent manner as possible to ensure not only public safety, but to deal with potential issues relative to violations of the executive order. From that perspective, we will focus first on education and voluntary compliance, only resorting to enforcement if absolutely necessary. We'll be working collaboratively with Fargo Cass Public Health to identify potential premises that may be in violation of occupancy and or patterns of mask wearing violations that could be effectively addressed through education and compliance. We encourage folks to contact Fargo Cass Public Health with any questions or potential violations and they will work cooperatively with us as we monitor the city on a 24-7 basis uh, pursuant to the executive order. In terms of occupancy, our department will focus on those licensed premises in which it appears are our large uh, amounts of people. We will again attempt to work with the owner to gain, educate and gain compliance. Again, leaving enforcement only if absolutely necessary. I feel confident that our licensed premise operators and the citizens of our city will work collaboratively together to help us keep our community safe. And in terms of the mask wearing violations, as many people are aware, there are other, there are reasons why some folks cannot wear masks and the fact that someone isn't wearing one doesn't necessarily mean it's a violation. However, for any of those calls that would come in to the Red River Dispatch Center, I want the community to know that our shift commanders will vet those calls and based on operations and needs of the department at the time, we'll evaluate whether or not we're able to send an officer at that time, or if we will follow up uh, at a later time with Fargo Cass Public Health or in some other fashion. Again, I encourage everyone in our community to work together through this very difficult and tumultuous time. Uh, we are a resilient community and I'm confident that we will see cooperation and partnership and help work through this very difficult situation. Thank you. We need to work together during these difficult times. It's extremely important that we respect each other and understand each other as best we can. We in the police department will work with the community to best handle this COVID virus and would ask you all to take part in helping us out to get these numbers to drop. It's our whole community that is at risk at this present time. So whatever you can do to help us is going to help us get to a point where we can get to a new normal. Thank you for helping and cooperating.